Greetings and welcome to a new video about MOSFET circuits. This is our example number four. In this example, I will look at the design of a MOSFET circuit. So we will work out the calculations here step by step to get the specific component values in our circuit and also verify this in our SPICE simulations. So let's look at our circuit and also our design problem. We have the following circuit given. This is the MOSFET circuit. We have an antron enhancement MOSFET again. With one DC sort given, which is 9 volts. We also know from this MOSFET and channel enhancement MOSFET that this the threshold voltage is 2.5 volts. And the conduction parameter Kn is equal to 4 milliamps per square volts. So we know for the MOSFET the required parameters, we know the DC voltage, but we require the following, design the circuit for a drain current of 1 milliamp and a drain to source voltage VDS of 2 volts. So that is a requirement. So we have now a reverse of the situation of the examples where we have the values for the resistors and then we calculate the let's say the currents and the voltages. So this is a design problem. So we need a one, amp, one milliamp here or there, that is the exact same. And we need a two volts between these two nodes. So how can we work this out? Let's look at the solution step by step. We assume always in the beginning for the MOSFET circuits that the MOSFET is operating in the saturation region. That means the current is constant. So for that, we can say that the drain current is equal to this expression, which is Kn times the VGS, which is this voltage, gate to source, minus the threshold, and a quantity squared. This is only valid in saturation region. So we assume that, and we will check if it is correct or not. Okay. We apply now Kirchhoff's voltage law at the output loop, which is this loop. Let's see what we get there. We can say the VDD, this voltage, DC voltage is equal to the voltage across RD plus the voltage VDS and the plus the voltage across RS. That's all shown here. But we know from symmetry and also the gate current is zero, the ID and IS are equal to each other. So the source current and the drain current are equal to each other. So we can rewrite this equation as shown here. So we can now take the RD and RS together and times ID or times IS. It doesn't matter. Then we have plus the VDS and we have now an expression. Now in here we know a couple of things. We know that we require one milliamp here and we require here two volts and we know the voltage source for this circuit, VDD. So if I now write it down such that I have an expression for the resistors, now a combination, so RD and RS together. That is then VDD minus VDS over ID. That's shown here. So we can calculate this because we know this is 9 and we require 2 volts and over the 1 milliamp and the result will be then 7 kilo ohms. But that is just a summation. We don't know the values independently. So we have an equation but we need another more. So let's move on and use drain current expression for this circuit assuming the saturation region. This is valid for saturation region. Now we can say that if I now want to know the VGS here for the condition of the ID, I can rewrite this as shown. So I can say in a couple of steps, ID over KN, and then take the square root of left and right hand side of the equation, and then plus threshold voltage. That's shown here. Now in expression, and we can now substitute the given values, ID, and also the MOSFET conduction parameter, and also the threshold voltage. That's shown here. So we have now 1 milliamp over 4 milliamp per square volts and 2.5 for threshold voltage. Now you get exactly 3 volts here. So we also know the gate to source voltage. Now, if we now move on and then also develop another loop equation for the voltage, Kirchhoff's voltage law, but then for the input. So from starting from here, going here and make the VGS plus the voltage across RS. So at this node voltage, I have VDD. I can say VDD is equal to VGS plus voltage across RS. We know IS is equal to ID, so we can use that information. So we can now set up the equation as RS is equal to VDD minus VGS over IS. 
since IS is known, which is also ID, so I made it red, you can substitute everything in here. 9 minus 3 over 1 mini amps. And how much is this? This is 6 kilo ohms. So we know the independent value of the RS. Now we know the summation of the two resistors. We know now the independent value of the RS. Now we have two equations and two unknowns, so we can solve this. So then we have the following. RD plus RS was 7000 or 7 kilo ohms. So the RD is then 7000 minus the RS, which we know already, which is 6000. So we know it is now 1000 or 1 kilo ohms. So the independent values of RD and RS are now calculated. So let's bring it up. These are the values for resistors and we have also the VGS. Let's also place it there for later results for the simulation. Because we'll like to check the values we have determined here in the circuit. This is not a circuit. You can see the N channel enhancement MOSFET here. The voltage across the drain the source, gate the source for the voltage voltmeters. The current arrow here to measure the current in this source branch and also in a drain. IS and ID, it doesn't matter, they are exact same. And this is the RD. You can see this is the RS and this is the VDD. What you see is exactly as required, which is one milliamp for the ID or IS. The gate current is almost zero, so it is almost three femtoamps, so you can consider that as zero. Gate the source was three, so that's also verified. You see VDS is two, so also as required. So the RD of one kilo ohm and RS of six kilo ohm will do the job for this circuit for this specific MOSFET using this uh, configuration. Now, a little bit more about the SPICE model. This is the model I have used, which is a level one SPICE model or called also Shishman Hodge model, which is this, which you can select in TINA, SPICE which is the most simple model in the SPI simulator. You can select here, using this no name, a model for a specific MOSFET you want. Now we have a threshold voltage here, which is 2.5. So you can just type in the, any number you want here. That's your threshold voltage. Another parameter, SPI's parameter is called the beta here in this, but it's also called KP. So I just name it here for, uh, for later, for other literature, if you want to work it out. So the beta here, or the KP, is given by this expression. So it is related to the conduction parameter of the MOSFET using this formula. You can see the KP, or beta, over 2, times W over L. W is the width of this MOSFET, and the L is the length. But default settings in the SPICE model is the 10 to the power minus 5 and also 10 to the power minus 5 for the width and the length. So it's 10 micrometers. Now since this ratio is just 1, we can say Kn is equal to Kp over 2 or Kp is equal to 2 times the Kn. So that means the following. The conclusion is the result of the Kn here must be multiplied by S2 to get this. That's why we have 4 milliamps per square volts here. And we have 8 milliamps. That's the reason. So that's also the calculation here. So that's the only thing you need to do. So not 4 milliamps here, but 8 milliamps. So if you have, for example, here 6 milliamps, you need to make it 12. That's the only thing you need to add. And this is the threshold. The rest of the parameters are just zero. You can see that most of the time you just place it zero to get the ideal condition. Okay. So what you see again. We have to verify that our calculations are correct for the RS and RD, and also the VGS is correct. And we also seen how you can insert the parameters in the SPICE model. So we have designed the circuit as required. All right, guys, this is for this design example about the N-channel enhancement MOSFET circuit using this configuration. If you have any questions, comments about this example, please let me know. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. In the next video, we will discuss a design of a P-channel enhancement MOSFET circuit. So stay tuned and see you next time. Take care.